What's up guys, you joined me in uh, <laughs> a very kind of spontaneous and random setting. I am in a McLaren 720S, which as you can hear is, uh, is far from stock. This has a Novitec slash Quicksilver exhaust system on it. It's got different pieces uh, from, a, from uh, different companies. And it is my friend Jordan's car, who's right here, who doesn't speak much English. So today I'm gonna be the one talking. Um, and he brought it over and he just came to pick me up briefly and I was like, you know what, why don't I make a little video to show you guys because it is quite cool to have this car which uh, makes a well pretty spectacular sound and 850 horsepower and just over 900 newton meters of torque stage 2 tune on it, so anything above that becomes just too extreme basically because right now stage 2 but when you go above that you, got, you have to change the turbos it starts affecting the reliability which is already slightly questionable on these uh, 720s and uh, some McLarens in general. Um, Whoa, that noise. It's not just like loud, it's such a beautiful sound. Now, I don't know if you can see in the distance, just quick little um, side note. Can you see it? There's the motor sail yacht A over there, boom, which is the world's largest sail yacht just cruising casually. Pretty cool to show you. Uh, and that is $600 million. And then we're in the McLaren. <laughs> Which wants to slide. It's pretty soaked out there. Anyways, what are we talking? We're talking maroon, like dark purple leather interior. It's kind of like the luxury pack on this. Um, which means you got full leather because if you get the sports ones, they're all Alcantara. It's got a very cool wrap on the outside, which uh, I'll show you guys when we can. Oh, yes, that noise. When we're out of the car, I'll show you the, the wrap outside. It kind of complements the interior really nicely. God, I mean, having an exhaust on this just changes the experience of a 720 because that's exactly what was missing. And uh, this is just a quick video. I really enjoy these. I know I keep saying it when I film these, but I really enjoy these kind of videos where you just come along with me because it just feels so natural. Oh, thank you. Oh, the amount of wheel spin we're getting. I don't know if it gets, if it comes across on video. But there is so much wheel spin. Yeah, I love these point of view. I feel like you can just live the experience with me. Now look, I'm not the tallest guy in the world. And I'm like not even touching uh, the, the kind of footrest there. There's so much room in this car. And that's what they nailed so well. It's such a cool supercar. And now with the exhaust, it's really, really loud. Really, really exciting. Obviously, it's got the most insane. I mean, you know that. I'm not going to really go over that too much. Because we all know how fast 720Ss are. But this one in particular, I think is different. It's cool. It's got a matte black hood. Obviously, this cool interior. It's got, we've got another GoPro here, but it's got glass on the doors, which is actually quite rare and part of that kind of luxury pack as well. And glass all the way around. There are actually seven windows in this. Um, oh, a little bit slippy, slippy. Um, and I can tell you that because apparently he had the windows tinted and figured out that that's what it was. So, because you've got all these different glass surfaces there to be able to see through those pillars, which makes it so convenient. I've actually made quite a few videos of 720s. I've been lucky enough to drive a couple of them myself and fantastic car. You've got your active panel here. We're currently in sport, sport. Um, but when you, you can put it in a track mode and then this goes all the way down. So if we put that, look, boom. And that goes so that it doesn't obstruct your view as much which is a really, really cool detail. And now overall, such a sick car. I mean, the fact that you've got a supercar, which as I said, you've got legroom, you've got space behind you right here. You've got a Bowers and Wilkes sound. Ah, yes, we might be able to see. There is a completely smashed 720 there. Ow. Yeah, not good. <laughs> that noise is insane. As soon as I open the window up, you guys can hear it a little bit more. I'd actually heard a Novatech um, 720, uh, which I had with my friend Amrit, car vlogger, and that sounded pretty good too. But this is this was the first one developed with this kind of combination of exhaust. There's the window things there, if you're wondering. Nice carbon on the interior as well. And yeah, it completely changes the experience of the car. So really, really cool to be able to see this. Such a comfortable car as well. You can get these with different seat options. These are the more comfortable ones and honestly super nice. One thing which I've never understood is, I don't know if you can see it, but the seat like control things are here and they're like such a particular system, it's so hard to get used to them. So I, oh, I've never been able to, every time I try and change my like seat positioning in, a, in any McLaren, I really struggle. But what they've done, I mean, the thing that this company, McLaren Automotive was started in 2011, I believe it was, and they've, they've got a car which, I've always said I think the 720 is mechanically the 
my most advanced car, um, potentially still even now after it's been out for a few years for sale. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, you can do anything. You can drive this daily, you can take it to a track and it'll destroy pretty much anything. You can do like autobahn runs and it'll, you know, blow anything out of the park. So it's, there's, you, there's so many options. It doesn't shut any doors, this car. The only thing is there's little um, kind of uh, electrical issues that they can have. So, you know, key not found often. So you guys probably know this. I don't know, maybe you don't, but they they have issues. I mean, the key's here, so keyless go. We will we'll often say, you know, key not found and little electrical things, which I don't understand quite why um, they have these issues on McLarens and uh, more so than on any other, in any other brand. Some don't, not, it's not every car, but it's more often than you'd think. And uh, yeah, so like little things where I was in one once where even though I didn't have a passenger ever in it, it kept saying, you know, passenger seatbelt not on. Um, so I had to always put the passenger seatbelt on even though there was no one sat here. Or the door wasn't closing properly because I had the soft close and it wasn't closing properly. So it wouldn't, you know, let me put the car in gear or like different things like this. And this is just from memory. Maybe I'm not exactly right, but I've, I've had many experiences myself of little electrical issues. And uh, I know other friends have Jordan has had a few little things, but um, you know, like Misha, another friend, has had a few electrical. They're not, it's nothing bad, nothing big, and doesn't really impair your experience, which is why I'm such a big fan of McLaren still, despite this. But it is something to be aware of, and I, I just don't get why uh, it happened so much and why there hasn't really been anything kind of to really properly fix the issue. It's definitely gotten better compared to the original like first 12 C's, McLaren 12 C's, um, but it is still a little bit of an issue and I don't understand why that's kind of still around. But yeah, apart from that, I mean, what, what a car. And now they've depreciated quite a bit actually. And uh, for the for the money, I mean, what a car. You've even got a full kind of carbon chassis. You can see it kind of coming through this pillar here. And that goes all the way around the doors and down everything for carbon fiber. Um, it's kind of sheltered a little bit more on this one because it's the luxury pack. But yeah, I mean, it's just such a complete package. Uh, and if you happen to have one of the good eggs that doesn't have any of the electrical issues, you know, then the one thing that was kind of missing for me from it was that kind of raw experience of having a super loud car and that kind of just wants to bite your head off and murder you like my Scuderia does or you know like a Performante does or things like that that's what was missing for me but now being in this one hearing the noise and seeing how much Jordan's having to kind of wrestle with the car it, it feels like it's kind of filled that void I mean 850 horsepower yeah it just feels like the car is now it feels like a hardcore version you know it feels like a Scuderia or an SV version of a 720 and that's maybe what it was missing a bit more so no I really like this one and I'm, I actually really want to show it to you from the outside so we're gonna drive into town we'll stop somewhere and then I'll show you the outside of this one because it's a very very particular wrap on this we just parked up here yeah, we're in Monaco it stopped raining a little bit so I just want to show you the the outside so yes doors up first of all these doors are some of the best I've ever seen I mean the intricacies and the design of this door with like the airflow coming through here um, actually, this is one area which you have to get PPF on McLarens because the amount of stone chips that come through there, um, we've got to be going in. And then, yeah, it's really cool with the with the glass there as well, being able to see through the door. But yes, as you can tell, so this is a wrap. It's my friend Jordan's Instagram, by the way, if you guys want to follow him. So the wrap is one of these like chameleon colors. Um, so here, you see it's blue, purple. There's a tint of orange as well in it. Uh, really, really cool. These are the stock rims, but I think they go quite well actually with the... Uh, with this wrap so kind of gloss on the body body color matte on the rims and then we've got a matte black hood this is done a lot more on mclarens than uh, than other cars but it works really well on the mclarens and then with the black roof and then it's got a matte black wing as well the huge wing here um, with a little stripe looks really really cool and it kind of makes like this whole center part just kind of link up and it makes it look like a little bubble on top of the car uh, like cockpit which is awesome so uh, yeah no i mean i really really like this it's kind of really refreshed the 720s in my mind and oh i love these lights actually i wasn't sure when the car first came out but see how the lights are actually in there and such a cool design anyways that's that that is this car let me just put you in wide angle thank you for for watching this video of course thank you to jordan for bringing the car he's over there <laughs> 
and uh, no I mean so so cool to see these and I do really enjoy these kind of like simple just quick videos literally I was in the office came out of the office quickly just to film this for you guys but awesome car awesome sounding car and uh, I would do some revs for you but in Monaco it's a bad idea they'll get in a lot of trouble and we don't want to set a bad example so there we go 720s with a completely pimped down exhaust awesome wrap and uh, just a little video for you guys so cheers Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Well, um, I'm sorry. We were just literally, we wrapped up the video a few seconds ago, drove off, and then out of one of the boats, a Pagani pops out. So I figured I would just add this in the end of the video. So unexpected, but here it is. It is a Huaria Coupe, normal, not BC. Um, and uh, yeah, it's absolutely lovely. It's got the, I think it's Tempeste or Tempesto package. We've got some serious vlogging going on here. Um, yeah, carbon, brown, and then, so it's got down front, it's got that extended front splitter, which is from the Tempeste package. And then I think it's got a titanium exhaust as part of that package as well. But what a beast. I mean, look at this. Boom. Yeah, stunning. So uh, anyways, just wanted to end the video there. So, so random, but I couldn't finish the video without showing you guys this. This is some Monaco in all its glory. Just randomly a Pagani pops out. So uh, yeah, there we go. Cheers, guys.